As a part of a real estate transaction, you're going to have a title company or a real estate attorney involved. That's an independent third party that's going to handle funds, they're going to keep the earnest money deposit, and they're going to do various actions. They're licensed, they're regulated by the state. One of the things they're going to look for is liens on the property. So if the homeowner had a bill, um, maybe taxes or something of that nature, they didn't pay it, the person or corporation entity that was owed the money will then take that bill and legally attach it to the property. That's going to come up in a lien search. We're also going to look for any title issues. The title company or attorney will do a title search. And they're going to look for defects. That would be something like, say 10 years ago, Uncle Joe transferred the property to Aunt Bessie and he did it wrong. That would be a title issue that would come up, they would address it, they would fix it, and they want to make sure that when you receive the property, it's clear, there's no claims to the property, and they're also going to issue what's called title insurance. So if they miss something, it'll be covered by the title insurance. So in five years after the sale, somebody or something comes forward, an entity, a corporation, claiming rights to the property, you'll be covered by the title insurance. Now, they're also going to disperse funds when we close. So everybody will have their share and you know the seller will get their money, you'll bring money to closing, your lender's going to wire transfer money to the title company or attorney. They handle all that. Now, an important thing to watch out for is there is fraud that takes place with closings. Unfortunately, in this day and age, with everything electronic, you want to watch out for wiring instructions. When you have wiring instructions, you really don't want to receive them via email because somebody can hijack the email, insert their wiring instructions, and the money's wired to the wrong bank account. So if you do have wiring instructions, you want to make sure that you personally receive them from the title company or attorney or you receive them via fax, but you really don't want to receive them via email. If you do, you want to call up the attorney of the title company and you want to verify the information. Did this come from you? Are these wiring instructions correct? Go over the numbers, but that's just something to watch out for, but don't worry, we'll help you with that.